A laser printer is a popular device used for printing. You can find it in every office as well as in many homes. The first laser printers were built by Xerox at the beginning of the 1970s. In the 1980s, serial models for individual use appeared on the market. They were expensive and ineffective. However, gradually the prices became lower as quality increased. Today laser printers are manufactured by many companies. Every day we use them for printing. Let's look at the principle of operation. The printing drum is a very important part of a printer. It is a cylindrical coated with special material. The coating can change electric resistance in response to illumination. This is the so-called photosemiconducting or photoorganic material. It is negatively charged. The charging is done by a specialized charger ruler. Why is the printing drum charged? After charging, the negatively charged surface of the printing drum is exposed with the help of a laser. The laser beam is moving over the printing drum while deflected by a moving mirror. The beam is focused with the help of a lens. It exposes the areas where the printing toner will be applied. The laser makes the areas electroconductive. The charge from these particular areas is transferred to the metal surface of the printing drum. That is, the laser draws an electrostatic pre-image on the surface of the printing drum. Now it's time to apply the toner. It is also negatively charged. The toner comes in contact with the printing drum. The latter has a magnet inside. The magnet attracts the charged toner. While the printing drum is rotating, the toner is attracted to it through a narrow opening. It adheres to the exposed areas that don't have the negative charge. Thus, the electrostatic image turns into a real one. Immediately after that, the rotating printing drum with the applied toner comes into contact with a sheet of paper. There is another positively charged roller under the sheet. It is called the transfer roller. The transfer roller transfers the positive charge to paper. Once it touches the print and drum, the image made of negatively charged toner is transferred to the sheet. The image is already on the paper, but it's not yet stable. The toner simply rests on paper due to electrostatics. In order for the toner to adhere, it is baked. This is a quick process. The sheet of paper goes through the last two rollers, one for heating and one for processing. At the temperature of about 200 Celsius degrees, the toner melts. Then it quickly solidifies and adheres to paper. This is why freshly printed sheets of paper are so hot. A similar technology is used for color printing. However, for each sheet the process is repeated four times. Every time one of the CMYK colors is applied. Mixing these colors gives us a full color image. Laser printers are popular due to their numerous advantages. They can print at high resolutions. They are quick and more economical than ink jet printers.